What do I what do I say? What's my line? <laughs> Whose line is Greetings it anyway? users. <laughs> Greetings users, me hey you here. And we are back. This time we're playing some Terraria and I've got friends with me. We'll, we'll go with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's lurking in the background. She doesn't want to talk though. Nope. <laughs> so, we are going to throw up a little multiplayer server for me and the wifey, and we're going to throw up our uh, my reboot world here. <laughs> Join that one. Server ID. Me... Yeah, I gave it to you, right? And okay. Server port be... 7777. Yep, default port. Ah! It's not accepting it. Uh oh. Don't tell oh. me I gotta go. What now? I uh, <laughs> put in too much of the IP address. I copied the timestamp and everything. <laughs> oh, my wood got lagged there. Oh, this could be fun. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play here. Oh, man. I got her set up with a Mac wrapper to get this to play, and it is not working right. It is there's, not happy. There are some really happy. pretty flashing colors on my screen, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, Seizure-inducing colors, let's put it that way. Well, shoot. Alright, uh, I've started recording. I, I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing. Uh, these people should be showing me around. Looks like there's stuff to kill. Yes! Uh, uh, ooh, mushroom. So, so... That Start is with the Matrix. <laughs> that is Ash MJ. Um, oh, it's a grasshopper. Man, they've updated all kinds of stuff. Can I kill it? Squirrel! Um, <laughs> Squirrel. Okay. Well, since she's not going to be able to play, I'm going to have to do some major... Um, oh, hey, you can hit the squirrel. You can get him. If you want to go ahead and quit, babe, I'm going to have to do research how to get that to work. Did I just pick up your... No, I didn't. Well, dang it. I was hoping to show you two how to play real quick. Well, uh, I got the basics down. Who's Jeff? That is our guide. Ah. He is... Um, if you actually right-click on him, he'll give you crafting tips. Huh. Um, you can put any, any item down in the bottom left there, and he will uh, show you what can be crafted with it. So if you put, like, wood in there... Show you all the wood stuff you can make with wood and everything. Kind of a in-game Wikipedia. <laughs> now your keys are probably defaulted to uh, escape to bring up your. Yes. I like to switch it to like E or R or something. Oh, I'll defend you. Nope. Not paying. Not even paying attention. Yeah, except actually you can't change it unless you exit. So. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. So how do you? craft stuff. Oh, crafting's really easy. As long as you um, have a little crafting table uh, made, which is just made from simple wood. So if you open up your inventory... Yep. Hang on, let me kill the slime first. Open up our inventory, you'll see down in the bottom left there, you can already craft workbenches, platforms, and torches, which is made from that slime gel and wood. So make a workbench, put it down. Now, now if you stand by the workbench, it gives you even more stuff to craft. So as long as it's in your inventory, you can craft it. Now we're going to need to get some iron to make an anvil to do any of that. Uh-oh. I think I just threw my sword at you. You got an extra sword, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I don't know which button is... T, I guess, is my throw button. Why is T my throw button? <laughs> well, I put it down. Did you already pick it up? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Now, you can also you uh, throw it away like you can with uh, Minecraft stuff and just throw it off off your inventory screen. Yep, you can do that and it throws it on the ground. Now, don't shift click things in your Broke. inventory. Because have you noticed how your inventory is nice and big and you see the little trash can symbol down in the bottom right of it? Uh, I don't see trash. Uh, yes. There it is. If you shift click it, it shift clicks it to the trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool, man. Yeah, so it's a bit annoying. Um, let's see what else. Um, so one thing you you know the basics. You chop the bottom of the tree and it falls mm -hmm. the whole thing. Now, some people it took me a while to realize that 
if I keep it, if I keep my hotbar on like my sword, if I hold shift, it'll automatically switch to my axe whenever I'm over a tree. And then you, you let go of shift, oh, okay. stay on the axe. Uh huh. And you can sh shift on the dirt, switches to uh, ah, steal your wood, switches to the, the pickaxe and stuff. It comes in real handy when you're messing with multiple stuff. It's been a while since I've played too, so this is. Kill the butterfly! Oh my god, I... you can actually <laughs> kill the butterfly! <laughs> Murderer! <laughs> um, so yeah, this little guy here. Can you uh, plant the acorn? Yes, you can! Yes, you can. You sure? Just, uh, yep, you gotta do it real close to you though. And actually click on the, like, the grass, click on the ground. Yeah, left click? Yeah. That won't let me do it. Try a little lower. <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna throw it around. <laughs> she says your mouth sounds like hers. <laughs> um. Oh, like just above the ground. Oh, just a, okay. It's just real picky, huh? Yeah. Oh, was that a? That's a big butterfly. So yeah, definitely wood is a very essential thing to grab first. We can make a little temporary shelter if you want. Um. So one of the first. Uh, first foundations of Terraria is creating dwellings, and whenever you create, uh, whenever you create housing, um, that will bring upon new NPCs. Huh. Um, there's so no, merchants. There's so no uh, dirt hovel. <laughs> Actually, you can make it at well. You can make it out of dirt, but you have to here. As we get lower here, I'll show you. There's this thing called the back wall. Mm-hmm. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. You have to have a, a back wall on the back of your house in order to make it a suitable dwelling. And unfortunately, dirt is not a valid back wall. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, um, here, let's... Oh, oh my god. Being attacked. All right, let's just block him in then real quick. Oh, dang it, Jeff. Come here. Jeff. Go this it's way. Getting, it's getting dark already. I can't stab him in the eye. <laughs> oh well, he'll come in here eventually. Um, so let's let's craft a door. There we go. <laughs> Mousing in my inventory doesn't work unless I actually close it. <laughs> Mousing the hotbar. Um, so we're going to want to make some torches for sure, because lighting level is important to said NPCs. Pink. Um. Make us a little basement here. There we go. Oh, let's see. We can go find a cave system later. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can actually carry it around and give off light. Oh, look! It's copper. Oh, you already found some copper, didn't you? Yep. Uh... Yep, so he is locked outside now. Um, yeah. Alright, so... Your basic inventory will allow you to make these wooden platforms, right? Mm-hmm. These things are awesome. Check it out. You make the wooden platforms. Doop, 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 doop. Whoop! All right, how do you... Oh, so it's just stem? <laughs> yep, just push down. So that's one thing that, um... Oh, what's the other one? Not Terraria, but... Um, Starbound? Yes. I tried to do that the other day in Starbound, and it wouldn't let me. Really? This mm -hmm. stupid guy. I... <laughs> Jeff, you're leaving the door open. Yeah, they, they were supposed to have gotten a lot better about that. Oh, sorry, I had been tweaking with the level of my push to talk. Mm. Oh, she's setting up her Steam profile. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, the Mac wrapper that we had, I, I tried downloading and everything for her. It just it's 
it's being real picky. I guess, yeah, it's just... Uh... I tell you what, after having used a Mac now yeah. for a while, I would not buy one. You well, know, not, not an artsy type, but yeah. If you plan to do any kind of gaming on it, it's a pain in the rump. Although it runs Kerbal Space Program pretty well. Oh, it does. <laughs> yes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make um, the back wall, which is. Oh, hang on, you gotta have the workbench to do that. Yeah. Let's put that. Did I? We're gonna. Did I, did I no, pick it I, up? I picked it up. No. Oh, I okay. Didn't. Drop. There we go. So now I have the back wall. Oh, so the rules of making suitable dwellings. Um, let's see. The first rule is um, have light. Um, second rule is have a back wall. Uh, third rule is to have one table and one chair. Nice. Yes. I guess that's two rules. <laughs> but be a uh, workbench. Rule. A workbench counts as a table. Oh, huh. but I moved the workbench downstairs. Dang it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Dude, it's the middle of the night. There we go. Oops. Achoo. This guy is getting on my last nerve. Whoa, okay, so nighttime is fun. Yeah, that looks yeah. like a floating eyeball. It's a floating demon eye. Oh, you picked up the... Oh. Here, let's go. Okay. Door, door. Working on it. Put it on the bottom. There you go. So, yeah, we've got zombies and demon eyes. And we are going to have to block the doors up because this guy is being an idiot. I bet you it's because he doesn't see it as a dwelling yet because we don't have a chair. Come on, you're I. Welcome to, you are welcome to slay everything you want out there. Ow. How do you course, regen health? <laughs> uh, it does slowly regen. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, you have to uh, take... Uh, if you picked up any mushrooms, I picked up one mushroom. Not yet. That if you hit uh, H, it'll do automatic health buff. If you have one. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it table for this guy, because he's grabbing nuts. Let's get a chair. Come on. Got like one hit left. Oh, now I'm out of power. Having fun out there? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's lots of stuff to take care of out here. Got like almost no life left. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. You're down. Oh, 12. Nice. If you mouse over another player, you can see there. So now... Alright, so we're inside, right? Yes. Open up your inventory. And... No, hold on. Let me uh, block off this back wall. Alright. Uh, do I have dirt? Yes. There you go. Good old dirt. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Don't you kill me, I swear. It was an accident. There we go. Did you see the chat? No. Okay, I didn't know. Oh, PvP. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> I hit the social button. I was like, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, so if you open up your inventory, where is... Oh, hey, we can switch over to the blue team. If you want to party up and stuff. Um... <laughs> you're saying these things like I have an eye clue what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, when you open up your inventory... <laughs> Over on the right-hand side, you've got all these vertical slots. Uh-huh. This is where you put equipment and armor that you get. Oh, okay. Up above there, there's all these little shield colors. Uh-huh. Click the blue one. There you go. Now, now we're both on the blue party. Now we can, ah. no matter how far away we get on the map, we can see each other. Um, so if you click the little house symbol, do you see that? Next to the swords? Yes. The swords are how I enabled PvP, evidently. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that. So clicking on that house will tell you housing. Uh-huh. So do you see when you clicked on it, now there's this little banner thing floating over Jeff's head? Yeah. It's actually not floating over his head, it's floating over the house. Um, so if you click 
the question mark uh -huh. and then click inside this house it says in the chat it'll say this housing is suitable so it says this housing is already occupied now it says it's occupied there you go so he was going in and out that was kind of weird so as you build houses bigger and bigger you can tell and you can actually assign all the different NPCs uh, to different okay. houses it's real neat so anywho oh, whoops don't forget to click the house before you close your inventory there we go otherwise it'll keep all that stuff up awkward ah. but I like to explore. oh god <laughs> Hard up to kill us. 